Hello, hello. How's everyone doing? Um, so I was just on. Sorry, I was just on Barrett. Barrett's um still streaming actually, so I'm still on there. <laughs> so I'm a little distracted. I'm a, I apologize. Um, but it's really interesting stuff that Barrett and Morgan are talking about right now. Um, so if you'd like to go and um you know say hi to Barrett and Morgan, um they are streaming on ba Barrett's channel. I don't have a don't, don't have a link, <laughs> um, but there we go. Really fascinating. Um, it, it's called the Gut Instinct, Gut Instinct, um, podcast with Morgan Lee's Crone story. So, um, absolutely fascinating. Definitely, definitely worth a listen. At least worth a watch later on the replay. Um, anyway, <laughs> that's where that's where I was. Sorry, I started a few seconds late. Apologies, apologies. Um, so yes, how is everyone doing on this uh, lovely Sunday evening? Um, I do hope you can hear me. I, I hope you can. Anyway, um, good evening, Emma Bennett. Uh, she says, good evening, sweetie, light of my life. Oh, so sweet. Hi, honey, good to see you, good to see you. Thank you for being here. Um, SD, Lady 1N. Hi, made friends of the like button. Oh, incidentally, actually, um, Lady One N is right now on Bookmark Con. Oh, let me see if I can get a link. Um, she that like I think is Book Brush was it Book Brush who's hosting it? Bookmark. Con. Oh, yes, Google. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, is it Bookmark Con? On? Yes, Bookmark Con and Book Brush. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that was it. Anyway, they are going on right now. So um, yes. There you go. Um, I think SD and SD was a pre is a presenter actually. So um, if anyone would like to go and you know support that, by all means. In fact, I am gonna leave a link um, right now because I can leave a link. So there we go. And thank you, SD. She's attending Bookmark on right now with a presentation going on. But I'll keep you going. Um, keep you up while it's going. Thank you so much for the support. Um, absolutely, absolutely appreciate it. Thank you. Um, so yeah, really, uh, really do appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And everyone, if you don't mind, Lady One Anne has basically made it clear: make friends with the like button, give it a panda cuddle. You know, if you're if you're into koalas instead of pandas, you know, give it a give it a nice little warm koala hug like they hug trees because you know koalas are cute. Um, they've got the <laughs> they've got the STD thing. Oh dear, I don't know if I want to. No, I I don't want to talk about that right now. <laughs> But they've got that STD thing that, that someone told me about, and he was from Australia. He is from Australia. <laughs> anyway, you are welcome to go and Google that yourself <laughs> at some point. Oh, dear. What am I doing? It's supposed to be family-friendly. Anyway, so I'm saying thank you, SD. Appreciate this point. Hope the con is going swimmingly well. Um, SD says it's good. I was so nervous. No, you did really well um, from what I, what I saw. Um, it's really good. Well done. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, she did really good. Graphics, yes, graphics. Excuse me, <laughs> Gromit is in the house. How are you, Gromit? How's it going, Richard? Um, good to see you. Thank you for being here, as of course. Um, and I saw you in Barrett's channel as well, so you obviously beat me to it. No, we shall see. We shall see. It's going to be chats and giggles first. Maybe sprints. I don't know. I don't know. We'll we'll see. Um, we'll see how we feel. Hey. Um, but there is AWC that is going on at some point. So obviously there's bookmark on right, right now. So if anyone would like to, it's the marketing conference, a book marketing conference. Um, like bookmark on, but there, there's a lot of you know famous people here. So please feel free to go pop by um, and register. And if you want to get tickets, by all means, you know. So that's all. And there's the. I should have started with this, shouldn't I? There's a schedule, or schedule, depending on how you pronounce it. But there's a schedule for uh, for anyone who wants to go and uh, check it out, right? Um, it's really cool. Lots of lots of famous people. What's up? Says Emma to Richard. Green Rule. Hey, good to see you. How's it going? Um, it says good afternoon, all. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, we can hear. You. Oh, thank you. Thank you for confirming. I'm always worried, right? Because I've actually done these streams, <laughs> I kid you not. I have done a whole stream, an entire stream of like two or three hours, and the microphone was off. <laughs> so it's, it's crazy. So thank you for confirming, Emma. I do appreciate it. Hi, hi, Sabrina. 
Ah, Gromit. Gromit, Gromit. Look, not financial advice, but I've said it many times. You are in such a fortunate position. You know, don't squander it. That's my biggest thing. You know when people have, like, a golden opportunity in life, and it's not that it comes once a lifetime. That's that's not it. But, you know, when 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 you have an opportunity, you should try and make the best of it. You know, you really should. And yeah, I hope you do make the best of it because you have an opportunity that I hope you do not squander. But there we go. That is my little rant from Gromit. <laughs> Hello again, Emma. Ooh, what's going on? What was the first one? What was the first time? <laughs> what was the first time? Did I miss something? Oh dear. Um, so I missed something. Yeah, Richard, you poor thing. Exactly. But Richard is in quite a quite a um, fortunate position, and I hope, I really do hope he takes advantage of it. So there's the bookmark on um, bookmarks in conference uh, link. If anyone would like to go and uh, pop in, you know, feel free. Right. Um, I don't know if I see still here, but she she may have a um, an affiliate link of some kind. Um, if she does. SD, if you're here, by all means, feel free to plug that. All good, all good. SD, yeah, exactly. I, I don't know if I want to... I don't know if I want to do it right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was about koalas. Koalas are so cute. I don't know if I want to ruin it for everyone. Um, but, yes, I am going to, because I, I've said it. Koalas. Play. <laughs> okay, go look at this one. Yes, exactly. Yep, it was from a while back. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, so that that is it. If you want, if you want to go and Google it, I'm not going to open that. Thank you. I've already Googled it, so feel free to go and check it out yourself. I'm, I'm trying to keep this as family friendly as I can. What is going on? Exactly. What I was telling people to, you know, if they don't mind do me a favor and hit the like button basically and I, I always put a spin on it because i think hit the like button is kind of yeah, there's nothing wrong with it it's just i would like something a bit more creative we are creatives in this mini universe of author tubes and youtube and being authors or writers or whatever it is you know we are basically creative people and i am i am absolutely convinced that we have more ways to say hit the like button than hit the like button <laughs> so that's why I'm always trying to come up with something a bit more creative, a bit more imaginative. Um, so anyway, coming back to the point, I said Lady One N reminded us to um, make friends with the like button, and I said if you prefer, you can give it a panda cuddle, or you can, you know, hug it like koalas hug trees. And because I said that, the koala thing popped into my head, and that's where it came from. <laughs> nice roundabout way of saying koalas have some issues. <laughs> Green, you you are welcome to go and you are welcome to go and Google it. But I'm not googling it. I've I've already kind of googled it. Um. Oh yes, Camp Nano. Jeez, I forgot. How did I forget about Camp Nano? Camp Nano, Rimo, Rimo. This is yes, Google. Thank you. Anyway, Camp Nano is actually going on right now, folks. And um, if you are participating, how is it going, actually? I, I have not... I'll be honest, I, I, I've lost track of time because I'm now in the UK. And I um, when I first arrived, like a couple of weeks ago, I had jet lag for about a week. Okay, and it was rough. And then this week, the UK decided to change their clocks and moved it forward. So I'd lost an hour of my life. <laughs> okay, so not only did I have jet lag, I then had to deal with... The lost hour of my life. It's like mm, I know I booked the flights. I know I picked the time and day. I I just <laughs> yeah. Follow me for more travel tips. <laughs> Basically, what not to do. Um. So Richard says week one of Camp Nano Rhino, thirteen thousand words written on Bertha the typewriter. Outstanding. Well done, Gromit. That is awesome. And Bertha the typewriter is very happy that you're um you are um utilizing her in that manner <laughs> let's just put it that way 
Oh dear. Um, so, sweetie, have you, what have you been up to? Um, me, I have been, yeah, literally I've been jet lagged. I've been trying to arrange to meet with certain people. Um, I have met up with a couple of, you know, a few friends so far. And um, whenever I have gone out, which is like only a couple of times with friends really, um, so far, um, it's always been having a drink. And I've reverted to having like whiskey and coke <laughs> so that, that seems to be my drink of choice at the moment but you know i'm, I'm probably going to try something different i'm not very keen on the vodka like the taste doesn't really vibe with me I'm, I'm more a whiskey kind of person and i haven't really explored so i can't do beer beer is not really my thing it's it's got like barley in it most beers and i i can't i don't deal well with barley at all right i, I think i've got like an a sensitivity at the very least and the worst, it might be like an allergy kind of thing. So I, I can't really. So anyway, beers are out. Um, so I met up with a couple of people. That was cool. And I, you know what? I have written some stuff, actually. And I would like to share that with everyone. But but please, no judgments, because I am a very slow writer. I, I've confessed it before. I spend like a day and I get like 250 bloody words. It's embarrassing. <laughs> I can write like physically I can write really fast, you know, so I can type it really fast, but getting the words down for a, um, for a novel, I just don't seem to, to get that. Anyway, so I've written like stuff, you know, so I'm at the, um, a third, so about 30%, 33%. Hopefully you guys can see this. Yeah, I, I think you can, you can see this. Cool. So I'm about 30% into my novel and, um, and yeah, you can you can see I'm just gonna highlight a little bit. Like this is gonna be a spy military kind of action thriller, some MI5, MI6, GCHD. This this particular novel is gonna be set uh, be set in in England predominantly. I have not decided to go into the wider area of the UK. So it's mostly England. Anyway, so this person who is the heroine, Amy is her name. Um she's got her little, you know debate scene which is like 30 percent into the novel and you know in between and i i, I do want to thank you emma thank you so much um for for teaching me this technique and i'm going to share it with you quickly and that is when you are outside when i am outside i'm trying to think about my novel what may my character be doing or thinking or what's the next step of the um, of the plots and that kind of thing so in between thinking i basically came up with the plot twist which is, yeah, it's going to be um, someone close to her. Best friend hacks it on. So, yeah, I don't really want to say too much <laughs> in case I get picked up. Oh, dear. And that's the problem with spy novels, right? My goodness. So there, there we go. That's what I've been up to. I've also been doing my YouTube videos. Um, thank you for uh, um, you know letting me share my current journey with my novel. And as I say, it's not that I don't want to write. It's just that I'm very slow at writing. Um, you know, I, I'm just very slow, and that's that's part of the problem. I can write very fast, I'm just very slow at writing the actual novel. So that's what I've been up to. What have you guys been up to? Please let me know, I would love to know. In fact, everyone here, we're, we're all kind of, we got a little community going, so um, if you'd like to share, everyone here would definitely like to, to you know, to hear your progress. Emma says, Richard, still bitter that Emma's replaced. <laughs> oh dear. Green rule, th yeah, thirteen k. That's really impressive, actually. That really is very good. Bertha's a big girl. <laughs> I can handle her, even though Emma was the more elegant. Yeah, I I believe Emma was a much more elegant machine. That typewriter was way better. Like, I I don't like taking sides, but Emma the typewriter definitely looked much more beautiful than Bertha. I'm sorry to say, Gromit, but that that's that's my view. I I think Emma is much more beautiful than Bertha is. Sorry. <laughs> there, I said it. <laughs> Even though... Oh, Betta Laura is here. How's it going, Betta Laura? Happy Sunday. Um, how, how's your week been um, since Wednesday? How has that been? And uh, how are you, actually? Do you, do you work? I don't, I don't know. You work. If, you, if you do, are you looking forward to the week? I don't know. Um, Gromit isn't looking forward to us to, to the new week because he's got to work. Um, so there we go. Emma says, Richard is not fortunate. We get to meet up and play midweek while he's working. <laughs> oh, don't rub it in. Come on, don't rub it in. That's 
Yeah, actually, you know what? That's fair enough. <laughs> I know, right? Richard says you guys have to get someone else to hold the camp. What? What is this? Camcorder? No. <laughs> Better Laura. Yes. How is Nessie? Yes. How is that um, story coming along? We are actually. I'm really curious, actually. And have you have you heard back from the um, publishers? I know they take ages, but I'm just curious. Like, no news is good news as well because. Hopefully they're still kind of evaluating things and all that kind of thing, you know. So anyway, I'm I'm hopeful. I'm I'm keeping my fingers crossed for you. Um, but at the same time, you know, might as well just keep writing, hey. So let us know how the Nessie project is going. You know, we'd love to know. Better Laura. Nessie says hi. Oh. Nessie says hi, folks. So cute. Um, koalas are kind of dirty. Yeah, okay, some are. <laughs> some are. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm not yeah, but you guys are welcome to like go and Google that. <laughs> it's it's all like Australia based, and this guy from Australia, I'm I'm in like another group with um like a small group of people. It's completely not like author or YouTube related. It's completely different. Anyway, um, he was saying that there was this koalas this STD thing. <laughs> so I had to Google. I'm like, what? Anyway, yeah, apparently koalas are kind of kind of dirty things, aren't they? How polite, yes. Yes, um, Nessie is polite, and, and Laura, Bessa Laura is obviously very polite. There you go. Wasn't Koala, uh, I don't know, actually, was it? I, I'm not familiar with that one. Um, I'm going to assume you're pulling my leg there, Gromit. <laughs> Good one. Um, oh, Devin, hey, Devin. How's it going? I'm part of the AWC crew. AWC's in the house. Well, Father Crew is in the house. Um, thank you for being here, Devon. How's it going um, on this lovely Sunday? Hopefully you are having a good weekend with you and your family. And let us know. How's, how's the week been? I, I think AWC must be like... Yeah, we're April, and um, AWC obviously is going to be um, June 28th to June 30th, Friday to Sunday. So we all kind of got to get a move on those of us who need to present. Um, I am, I think I'm on the roster. <laughs> yeah, yes, I am on the roster, I believe. Um, so I, I do need to sort something out. But yeah, look, we've got AWC with the keynote speakers and awesome speakers, like special guest speakers. Um, so yeah, I, I think I've got a slot. I don't know. I'm going to have to check. But yeah, this is going to be awesome. And um, please, folks, feel free to go and uh, check it out, AWC. It's going to happen in June. It's going to be awesome. It really is. And Devon is part of the AWC family, which is cool. Thank you for being here, Devon. Um, Richard says, have passionate love affair with the light button. Yes, if you are in a romantic mood, by all means, have a passionate love affair with the like button. Just, just don't tell anyone else about it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't really want to know the details. Um, Devin says, Emma, blind, exactly, yeah, that was a little, a little bit too much for me, Emma, I think that was <laughs> that's a little bit too much. Uh, Devin, I will smash the like button with a book, like a spider. Oh, oh dear, <laughs> that's a little dark, but okay, okay, that's, that's cool. Um, Emma says, how are you, Devin? I'm very distinct. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, fair enough. Emma says, jet lag and me being demanded. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I've been chatting. Um, David says, I'm good working on some time management. Ooh, that's a, that's a big one. Time management. I, I This is my time management. I get out of bed and I'm like, what am I going to do today? <laughs> Literally. I, I kid you not, okay? I kid you not, folks. When I first arrived in the UK, and it's been quite a few years, okay, um, because, you know, there was like, the Rona, and then it wasn't just the Rona, okay? That that wasn't it. It was more the travel. I, now, I'm a nervous, I'm an anxious traveler, okay? So I, I have, like, anxiety and stress and stuff. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, I, I, I'm open about that. But the travel absolutely gets to me, right? And there's, I literally woke up in London, like, the next morning or the next couple of days in the morning or whatever, 
I, I was just lying in bed and I couldn't move. I was like, what am I going to do today? You know? Um, and I, I, I'm, I'm not the most organized person on earth, but eventually I got out of bed and, you know, I got some encouragement from, from folks and that was cool. And yeah. And now a couple of weeks in, I've kind of got my routine going. Anyway, the reason I bring that up is because time management is something I'm working on. Um, so I try and allocate certain time, a certain amount of time to, you know, let's say YouTube work, or I'm, I'm doing some writing work, or I'm, you know, checking with Emma for my, my book coach and business stuff, or I'm checking with Gromit because he's sending me some funny gif or something, <laughs> you know, um, or I'm, I'm trying to organize whatever um, to meet some friends. So I'm trying to work on time management. So that is a, a big thing for me. If you got any tips, Devin, I'm, I'm very open to um, learning. You know, I'm, I'm always trying to improve on that one. Sound drunk with Andy. I, you know what? I don't think I'm, Okay, I, I went out with a friend a couple of days ago, I think. Was it a couple of days ago? I think it was a couple of days ago. Or was it just yesterday? Oh my god, I, I'm, li I'm literally losing track of, um, of time. <laughs> Jeez. Um, okay, Friday. Sorry, two days ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Two days ago, I met up with a friend. Um, now, I thought I was going to meet up with, with him, and I thought we were going to have, like, a, a drink, and then we'll have, like, some nibbles, okay? Like, nibbles and, like, fries or cashews or nuts or something, right? You know, just little bits to nibble on as we drink and chat. Anyway, I went there thinking that's what we were going to do. We got to the pub, and um, we decided not to eat. <laughs> so there I was. And then this is like six o'clock or something, 5.30, 5.30, and I'm ready for nibbles, right? I'm ready for food. And um, this is a, it's a complex thing with me, I, me and food. I, I schedule when I'm going to eat based on what I'm going to do, okay? So if I'm going to do a workout, I'm going to eat a bit heavier on the meal before. So I had planned to eat a little bit as I was chatting and drinking, right? And there was nothing in my stomach. I was literally empty belly drinking, <laughs> Um, and then we went to um, a little, <laughs> little like private art exhibition function in Holland Park. It, it was really quite posh. Um, I, I'm not posh, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, we went to like this art exhibition in, in Holland Park. Um, and surprisingly, I was not that drunk. So I don't know, maybe I got a, a strong constitution in my tummy. Um, yeah, that was interesting, actually. Very cool. Yes. Um, I, Andy is not drunk. And he is not um, angry either. Cocktails. Oh, you know what? I've never really got into cocktails. I wonder if that's because I haven't really had enough or tried many of them. I think I need to try more of them. They're kind of sweet, aren't they? Like, I, I've tasted it, but it's been so many years I don't remember. So I may have to try some cocktails. But the thing about cocktails is um, you you got to be careful not to mix it with anything else, in my opinion. Like, when you're mixing alcohol. Um, you can get really drunk really fast, for, for me anyway. So if I drink, um, let's say I'm drinking vodka and Coke, and then I switch to whiskey and Coke or something, like it's a completely different alcohol kind of thing, I may get exceedingly drunk in like 10 minutes. <laughs> you know, So I, I don't like to mix my alcohols if I, if I can avoid it. But yeah, good one, best of all, I'm going to have to try some cocktails. Yes, he won't say, I did say cocktails out loud. Because it's that's the drink. That is the drink. And I says, "See, I meant what have you been up to with the koalas?" Oh my god, I completely misunderstood that. Now I feel kind of stupid because <laughs> I'm just blabbing about something else, and you were asking about something different. Oh my god, talk about embarrassing. Thanks for thanks for listening to my rants and vents. <laughs> I completely went off in a tangent, didn't I? Um, Devin says, I'm a margaritas kind of person. Yes, lots of people love margaritas. I'm going to have to try that. Um, I, I don't remember the taste of it. I have tried it. I just can't remember it. Emma says, I love margaritas. Nice. Ah. He said, I did say that. Yes. <laughs> Richard said, I also love margarita. Pizza. <laughs> oh, dear. Fair enough. Hey, no judgment. I'm not going to yuck your yum. 
In fact, I'm 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 part of the I'm part of the club that is perfectly fine with pizza and pineapple. There, I said it. I'm okay with pizza on pineapple. You know, I'm I'm cool with that. Hawaiian pizzas, why not? Bring it on. I do like other pizzas as well, so please d- don't don't tune out. <laughs> you know, I do like other pizzas as well, but I'm okay with pineapple on pizza. That's all I'm saying. Wait. <laughs> Uh, screenshot. Yeah, well, it, okay, Gromit, um, Emma's going to help me workshop the novel. So whatever you see in its raw form right now, it's not going to be anything like that at the end of it. it. It really isn't. This is like a really raw kind of first draft. Um, it, in fact, it's kind of embarrassing. It's it's not great, but it is what it is. That's my favorite. Ooh, Devin's a pineapple on pizza kind of girl as well. Nice. we got the pineapple club going. Sometimes the classic cheese only is better. No, I don't. Okay, that's where I kind of draw the line. I don't do cheese or pepperoni only. I, yeah, I think that's not worth my money. Okay, so if I'm paying whatever I'm paying, and I can get more than one topping, I would like more than one topping, you know? I'm paying the guy, I'm paying whoever, like 10, 15 quid or whatever. I would like more than one topping, thank you. <laughs> Why am I not getting my toppings worth? <laughs> you know, come on, Gromit, come on. You gotta make better financial choices. <laughs> One topping. Outrageous. Outrageous. What's wrong with you? <laughs> um Richard says, wait, what's Emma been teaching? She has been giving me the secrets. Well, I, I don't have the secrets actually. She's quite she's sharing um how she does things and I'm trying to learn. Um I, I'm not implementing it very well, unfortunately. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Melissa, hey, bonjour. How are you? Um, hi everyone, driving home from Erin, then we'll hop in. Thank you, Melissa. How's um, how's your week been? And um, how is your Sunday today? We are curious. Um, Devin says, I am so happy you used, yes, I use Word to, to write anything basically, right? So I write my novels in Word, I write my nonfiction in Word. Um, yeah, it's a word processor, right? That's what it's built for. So I, I use Word for writing. I use Atticus for formatting though, because I, I, yeah, it takes me too much time. It's too fiddly for me to format in Word, but I know people who do, and you know, more power to them, but I just can't format it myself in Word. Yeah. Better Laura says, also think about it in the shower. Yes, yes, Better Laura, 100%. I absolutely get my ideas. Like you, you can speak to people who are close to me, you know, um, I might come up with like ideas just after the shower. I don't know what it is. Do you have any ideas why that is? Why the best ideas come out, you know, after a shower or during the shower? I'm really curious. Seriously, Bessa Laura, if you have an answer. Emma says, hi. Sadly, I cut 4K. Well, don't worry, Devin, it had to go. It's okay, it's okay. Editing is normal. Uh, Bessa Laura says, did you actually get rid of her? No, I, no, why would you say that? I love Emma, she's great. No, she's lovely. Um, I, I didn't get rid of her that I know of. <laughs> um, no. I see Emma's still here. Plenty and ET. No, I, yeah, I, I don't think I really add much value to Emma's life. Um, I, I, I'll be honest. I think Emma adds a lot more value to my life than I add to hers. <laughs> um... So, yeah, I feel like it's a bit of an imbalance there. But somehow, karma is going to come back, and she's going to get all that she deserves. That's that's how karma works, right? So it'll be fine. Um, right. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. I, yeah, I'm not going to repeat that one. Stop. Exactly. Um, Richard says, Andy, I have a plot idea for you. So, yeah, feel free to ping it to me. Like, whenever. Um, on Discord, you know. And um, Richard says, wait. <laughs> Gosh. Behave. Behave, folks, behave. Um, Bessel Laura says, I haven't heard from them yet, but she did say she was going to read it this week. Ooh, fingers crossed for you, everyone. Fingers crossed for Bessel Laura. We're going we're gonna, to you know, get into like a little virtual, imaginary virtual circle in the Author 2 community. There's going to be like people um, holding hands virtually, and we're all going to you know send positive vibes like the Care Bears thing. I'm showing my age a little bit, <laughs> but you know the Care Bears—they kind of 
they line up in a row and then they um they have this like little heart coming out from their chest and it's shining. And that's what we're gonna do for Bessalora. And I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed for you. Hopefully you get that that golden ticket. I really hope you do. I really hope you do. Um, Richard says, so these wheel writer typewriters use film ribbons so you can unwind them and see all the previously typed characters. Ooh. So maybe the state secret is stored in one of those film ribbons and has to be found. Um, uh, yeah, my, so my, my, my chick, my girl, um, the character, Amy, she is very high tech. So in this case, it would not work because she would not use a typewriter. You know, she she's like a cyber security whiz, right? So um, she would not be using old school tech like this. But I do like the idea that there are previously hidden characters. It's kind of like a code, you know, you gotta you gotta crack the cipher. So you need you need the whatever cipher to crack the code kind of thing. Um, I, I I already have that idea kind of in the plot. Um, so actually, let me show you guys. Let me show you guys what I mean because it's really random if you can't see it. Um, and when you see it, it's kind of a bit more obvious. You know, just talking about it, it's not easy to demonstrate. So let me just pull up my novel again. Give me a minute. There we go. Okay, can you see this? Hopefully, you guys can see this. Um, so yeah, so she's her eyes darted at what appear to be random points, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm talking about standstill with letters on the top row. And then these are basically me telling people these are all the uh, potential suspects in the novel. It's kind of like a wide on it and stuff, you know? And I'm going to build on this basically. And I'm going to weave in... Um, some kind of um, code, right? That was there all along. Maybe I'm kind of I'm, I'm still still kind of swimming in my head. <laughs> I haven't worked out all the details, which is why I need to take more showers, maybe. <laughs> because like Bessa Laura says, best ideas come in the shower, right? So yeah, I'm weaving in ideas, um, and there's gonna be some kind of code thing. Um, so yeah, that is that is my uh, novel bit. Um, where things are starting to get a bit more exciting. I gotta take more time to work on my novel than I really do. And just, you know, I don't know. I'm trying my best, but falling short, you know. Um, let's see, let's see, okay, excellent. I'm gonna move on, move along with the chat a little bit because I kind of neglected it. Um, thought you were gonna say something. Yes, no, 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 uh, I think this person, my, my heroine is actually quite well-trained in martial arts. And she will have her life threatened 100%. That, that has to happen. Like, come on. If there's no threat to your life, it's not it's not a thrill. There's no, you know. And there's going to be a bit of action. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to put in. But it's going to be exciting, I hope. Basically, a <laughs> lucky logger. Um, yes. Actually, yes. Old school tech um, is great, isn't it? I, I really do think old school tech. Because... And this is a part of the um, spy thing, right? When people go high tech, either you go higher tech or you go low tech, right? So in this case, actually, that might work. You might have a like a low tech option to solving or to being part of the mystery to solve. That might actually work. Now, Devin says, my weeks have been, have been chaotic. I have one graduating high school. Congratulations, congratulations, and all the year and activity for the other kiddo. Yeah, it is coming to a head for um for those who have kids. Um, school term I think ends, you know, starts winding down May or June. Um, so yeah, that's that's yeah, busy time exactly. Alan says busy time to Devon. It's true. Um, so much is happening. Oh, Bessalora, I finally found someone who hates flying. Maybe as much as I do. I, I'll be honest, I don't mind the actual flying. The actual flying I'm okay with. It's the bit that really gets me is not being able to get out of stuff. Um, you know, I like I don't like standing in lines where I, where I can't get out. You know, I need to have like an exit. I'm kind of like Jason Bourne. <laughs> 
he goes into like a supermarket or he goes into a diner and the first thing he does he's looking for the exit signs that's me that's li literally me like my anxious lizard brain is like how am i gonna get out how am i gonna get out <laughs> okay there's a line there's a queue here how am i gonna get out you know um it's um it's yeah it's terrible um so yeah what can I say? It just says. It just says. Um, hope it calms down for you, Devin. Yes, we hope so. Um, I suspect it's going to calm down after um, the 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 academic year um, comes to an end. Chiggles and nibbles. Uh, it was. It was. <laughs> we did have chats and giggles, and it lacked nibbles, unfortunately. I think when summer kicks in, you have two spring concerts. Nice. Fine. Oh my God, that's a lot of stuff. That is a lot of stuff. Jocelyn, hey Jocelyn, how's it going? Um, how's your work in progress? Um, love to uh, get an update. Um, you know, let, let us know how it's going, actually. So let's see, hi size. Um, <laughs> please get Andy drunk. We shall see, on it, we shall see. I don't plan on getting too drunk. Some of my yuck your yum. Um, no, I don't know. She's she's very polite. I don't think she will. Um, not worth your money. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of selective where I put my money on. I gotta say, I invested in the house. So did you? Did you? I think it's still a private company. So, I'm curious as to how you actually did that. If you did that, Gromit is famous for pulling my leg. So he's probably pulling my leg right now. Um, Atticus, yes, I do like Atticus, actually. I, it's it's my go-to thing. And they had, like, a whole bunch of fonts that they added. I haven't even looked at them. So I haven't even looked at the update because I've kind of been so busy. Um, I see so many people who insist on formatting Word. Yeah. So I can't name the job that I used to work in, but basically I, I was doing, like, um, tech, oh my. Anyway, I used to work in a job. <laughs> it's kind of hush-hush. And the... The bit I was in was like maintaining documents, right? Like operating procedure kind of documents, okay? And it was a nightmare because everything was formatted in Word, okay? And whenever someone touched it, literally touched it, the format would go all, all wonky and then someone else would have to fix it and they would never know if it was fixed properly. So that is one of the reasons I do not use Word to format because I know how fiddly it can be. And the minute you touch something, you don't know if something else has been affected. Like page breaks, um, fine, no problem. But if you're doing section breaks, is it like for this section, continuing from the previous one, for what, whatever. Anyway, I, I'm, I'm digressing, but the point is that I don't format in Word because of those issues. I've been scarred for life <laughs> back in the day, basically. Um, Bessie Laura says, your brain knows you can't write down ideas in child's so it makes them to spite you. You know, that that actually makes very good sense. Um, so yeah, I, I totally buy that. Atticus is, yes, it is. I can't repeat that word, but it is the stuff, man. That It is the stuff. But yeah, I completely agree, actually. I will not write on their system either. Um, and then there's some, some, so I was part of like the the beta launch, the beta launch. It was early launch, basically. I got I got Atticus because it was cheaper, but I accepted that because it was cheaper, there were still some software issues, some kinks that were they were ironing out. And because of that, I, I accepted the lower price. Now it was so wonky back in the day that it literally lost entire chapters of people's writing. Okay. And that, that's like way back. It doesn't do that anymore. But it still glitches. I'm still seeing people glitch out. And I'm like, I'm not willing to glitch out on my, my novel, right? So I'm writing my stuff. I'm going to back it up in like Google Docs or something. But basically, if it glitches out and you've written like 10,000 words, <laughs> oh my God, can you can you imagine? Like I would, I would go bat ape crazy with that, that stuff. Um, care vans. Oh, yeah, exactly. You got the reference. Good. Um, Melissa, I had a good week. Cool. Today I'm doing chores, some break prep. And yeah, what can I say? Weekends are for that kind of stuff, aren't they? Really? Um, yeah, I, I do prefer to write 
an actual program on my computer as well. Word is my choice. Fingers crossed. Yep, yep. Atticus, crack the side. RC Scott, how's it going, buddy? How's it going in Chicago? Oh, I, you know what? I saw your pictures on Instagram. Um, I, I don't remember if I liked it. I should really if I haven't. Um, but the food pictures, they were they were awesome. Man, I was salivating after that. I was like, oh man, I gotta get me some of this. Um, but the problem is if I eat that food, <laughs> I'm not gonna get to my weight goal and my my body kind of goals, you know, like my health and fitness goals. So um hey says um it's the crashing bit. Yeah, exactly. You you gotta be careful with Atticus. So I'm willing to risk the crash for formatting because it it literally takes me like five minutes to format a book now. So I'm okay with that. I can I can I can deal with losing five minutes of my life and redoing it a couple of times, even ten times. And what I cannot deal with is writing like thousands of words and then have a program glitch on me and just lose like entire chapters. Like no, no. <laughs> That's that I can't deal with that, you know. Um, Ferris saying high five, cool, cool. Yes, we have a lot in common, Bess Laura. Um, I bought a shandy and it actually came up as approval needed. Yeah, I look at you, yeah, I would definitely need approval on that one as well, actually. Because <laughs> you know, Richard may look a little dodgy. Oh, I'm just kidding, it's all good, it's all good. Um, I invested in terms of helping boost their profits. No, we talked about this. When you buy food from somewhere, it doesn't matter if it's Harvester or somewhere else, you are paying someone. You are not getting anything out of it, right? Like financially, you're not getting anything out of it. Okay, I'm not saying you shouldn't need. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. But financially, when you put money in, it's like a bank, right? If you put money into the bank, they give you bank interest. And they should give you your capital back as well. That's like an investment, and then you get a return, right? The return is your interest. But when you go and like buy food from any sh any restaurants or whatever, you get food, you eat it, and that is it. You don't get an actual financial return. You pay your ten dollars, you get nothing back. So financially, you've made nothing. You know, so you gotta yeah. I wouldn't call that investment. That's that's more that's more like sunk cost. <laughs> that's more like sunk cost. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> Shandy. And Emma, look, he likes Shandy. Let's let's respect that. I'm I'm okay with that. I'm cool with that. <laughs> and he was no, I wasn't. Um, but I did go to university with a Russian guy who went to spy school in Russia. <laughs> yeah, and he was like, Oh, he he told me some stories like this stuff can happen, this stuff can happen and no, Andy was not a spy, but James, yeah, I, I wish I was. No, seriously, look at me when, like, when people see me, they're like, this guy is no spy. But actually, maybe I could be a spy because I'm, like, so, what's the word? Not memorable. <laughs> you'll look at, you'll glance at everyone, like, in a sea of people. You may even look at me directly and make eye contact and everything, and then you'll just forget I ever existed because that's just the kind of person I am, you know? <laughs> that's why he's writing a spy. No, you know, spies would not write spy novels because they know the crap they would get into. <laughs> you know, they would not do that. They would not risk their lives to do that. Um, <laughs> no, no, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> that's a horrible idea. He might, yeah. Um, Oh, fun fact, I have actually signed the official secrets act. <laughs> so yeah. <clears throat> Section breaks could be a romance novel. I feel like that's more like a spicy erotica thing. I really do think that's more of the spicy side of things. Romance novels would not be called section breaks. Come on. It'd be more like um I I don't know, but breaks would not or maybe it'll be like like enemies to lovers kind of thing. Um, section breaks returns or something. <laughs> I'm just making it up. I don't know. And my typewriter doesn't crack. Yes. It's also not very um, high tech, which means you, you have, yeah, you, you have extra steps to bring bring it into the uh, the fold, you know, so you got to bring it into Word or whatever, and then you got to format it after, you know. Um, but you're the pro with that, you know. 
Yeah, you never run out of ribbons because Richard is prepared for that, I'm sure. He has a supply. Exactly, Richard has a supply. He's prepared for it. He has a, he's a ribbon guy. <laughs> uh, film ribbons for this type of are like blank VHS tapes. Yes. No, Andy is not a Russian spy. God, no. I knew a guy who went, who was, who was from Russia, who is from Russia. I think he's still alive. I don't know. I haven't seen him in ages. Anyway, he, he's Russian. He, well, he, he was Russian, at least, back in the day. And um, he went to a school in Russia. I don't know. He, he told me about it. I couldn't remember it. He told me when I was having drinks, and it was vodka and coke <laughs> at the time, I think. Um, anyway, he was telling me these things, and I wasn't really paying attention. I really should have paid more attention at the time. Why did I not? I would have, I would have liked to know. Um, but yeah, he went to university or something where um, a lot of spies are recruited. So he is not as far as I know, a spy, but he went to a school where a lot of spies get recruited from. So there we go. They are VHS big. Um, I don't know. Why Russian? Um, only because the guy that I, I used to work with, he was Russian. So it's not that I'm a Russian guy. Like, um, I'm still friends with him on Facebook, I think, but he, he never posts, which is very spy-like, by the way. <laughs> Like I posted some stuff which is not spy like, so yeah, there you go. Um, but yeah, he I think he's settled in the UK now. He's a good guy. Not quite VHS big, but like recordable tape, but for typed letters. Yeah, that's old school tech. You got it. Yeah, very eighties. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. I like it. I like it. Um, has he disappeared? I don't believe so. You know, I. I'm having trouble remembering his name. I feel bad. Um, yeah, I can't remember his name now, you know? But, yeah. <laughs> I feel really bad. And it's not because I was drunk at the time. I worked with this guy for a few years, <laughs> you know? Um, so it's not it's not because I was drunk at the time. Um, I just... it's been, It's just been so many years since I left that job. And that's why I can't... <laughs> I'm, I'm glad Devin is having a good laugh tonight. We are... Yeah, we are. We, yeah, it's off the hook today. Uh, probably upset the uh, regime. I don't know. I don't know. Um, cool, Jocelyn. No worries. Have a good Sunday. Thank you for popping by. I was like, why am I? <laughs> yeah, you know what? Uh, these days, if you're going to. Like the spy novel side of my brain, actually, just my brain, if you're going to make it look like an accident, you want to make sure there's not just one person. Right, Richard? Okay, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Um, okay, sprint time. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously, sprint time. 25 minutes. I swear we got a sprint. Jeez. Like, it's been so long. I've been just yakking away for like 50 minutes. It's outrageous, really. I can't believe people are listening to me rant and talk. It's shocking. It's shocking, people. Bye. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate the support, especially on a Sunday evening. I really appreciate it. That was a movie. Yes. Um, and these days, I think, um, you know, everyone wants a sprint. Come on. It's true. Um, these days, if you if you were to do, you know, something, make something look like an accident, you would not do it with just one person on the plane. It's just, you know, inviting for questions, really is what i would say all right folks let's do the first sprint of the night on sunday or, or afternoon depending on where you are um let's go 25 minutes i shall see everyone in 25 do stuff let's go
Okie dokie, and that was time. How did we all do? How did we all do? What did you guys do? I am curious. Let me know. Um, what did you get up to? Um, so, yes, I uh, grabbed a bit of water, <coughs> tried to do a bit of writing. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys got up to. Oh, let me change the banner. So I can do chat and giggles again. Um, so why do you, why do I stop? Let me just check the chat. <coughs> okay, there's a, yeah, there's a whole a movie. Uh, Justin has to stop off. Snakes on the plane. Silent Hill Jackson, I think. I could do a cookery show on the Orient Express bakes on a train. You totally could. Grommet, you totally could. In fact, I think you should. Um, <laughs> I think that sounds like a great idea. Why not? Samuel Old Jackson does bread out of it. Okay, because I don't I don't like watch TV much. In fact, I don't I don't watch TV, so <laughs> I, I don't see the adverts basically. Bread and butter. Bread. Don't encourage it. Yes, I think, yeah, bread and butter. Yeah, you can't take that back, unfortunately. Um, yeah, that was me asking what he, <laughs> whether it was a bread or butter rabbit. Um, and it's Warburton's. I think I got Warburton's bread today. It's like whole whole wheat Warburton's. Um, sliced, obviously. Um, so, you know, TV all the time. Yeah, I, I don't have TV. Well, I have a TV, but I don't watch TV. So, nope, not a secret. Um, I think it was already announced, I think. I'm pretty sure. Um, screens and sound like. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Google. Um, I'm pretty sure I already... Yeah, exactly. I set it up. And your name is here. Yeah, that's not a secret. So, no. Definitely not a secret. Um, yeah, it's going to be good. Um, the secret might be tomorrow. Well, not, not tomorrow. Um, is it tomorrow? Anyway, earlier before my stream. That might be a secret. Um, didn't notice. Yeah, I don't know why the time sometimes kind of just slows down for a bit. It's kind of weird. I'm going to put also to you writing conference because that is up in a few months, in a couple of months time. Devin says, planning next week, I really need some time management. Does anyone have time they can share? Ah, oh, Devin, you and me both, I struggle with this quite a bit. In fact, I struggle a lot with it. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I do my best. I really do. And it's not always it's not always great it's not ideal, but um, you know, we make we make the best of what we have right yeah. So, and an editing job and chatting nice cool editing job that is good more chatting than editing <laughs> no more editing than chatting I'm pretty sure um, yeah no no definitely Emma's not willing to share any of her time you know what Devin I'm happy to share my time if you can. If we can somehow work out like a uh, a deal, you know, you can. If you build a time machine, <laughs> then you know I'm happy to share some of my time. <laughs> but then, if you build a time machine, you wouldn't need my time now, would you? You just use the time machine to go back in time and do stuff, right? <laughs> um. So yeah, there we go. Um. So Richard says, "Wait, you have to buy your own bread." In this fancy hotel? I don't know. What hotel? I want bread. Um, okay, so that, that was the other secret. I wasn't sure if Gromit was going to share. But we are going to be streaming of Gromit on Tuesday evening. So that should be fun. The last time was really fun. So, um, yeah, that was, that was really funny, actually. That's good. Uh, I have revealed the secret. There we go. That was the secret. Huzzah! 
it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, it was. It was really cool. Um, so much chatting about Selena's friends. Well, here's the problem. My my voice starts to go, <laughs> and and um, I yeah, I then take a couple of days to recover. So yes, Vesselara, will you be there? Hopefully, we'll see you on Gromit stream. Um, is anyone else gonna be attending Gromit? You know, because last time you had someone else, and it was a bit last minute for me. I couldn't really attend. Uh, other stuff going on. Let me see. When was Gromit's last stream? Mm. <laughs> um, we're gonna see. We're gonna see you at the Richard Holiday Wrestling. <laughs> oh dear. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna look for Richard Holiday the channel <laughs> and see who he last streamed with. Oh dear, come on, where's the channel? Okay, this is a lot of scroll <laughs> scrolling trying to find Richard's channel. <laughs> and there's a lot of wrestling in this. <laughs> None of which is Richard's channel, of course, but okay, I can't find it here. Jeez, come on. Come on. Filters, okay, filters, channel. Sort by um, channel type. Okay, I think this is it. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> okay, this is it. <laughs> oh dear, Gromit, did I? <laughs> oh dear, okay, hold on. He's got an also play one. So. Sorry about that. That's um, Richard's also play for Price War, which is his book. If we go check that out. Are you really in London, Richard? South London? Like, you gotta take a train into London. Does that mean you're actually in London? I don't know. I think the jury's out on that one. Mm, yeah, anyway, we're gonna be on um, Gromit stream. And. So that is this one here. And last week it was this one. Um, that was the last one. And it was Eloise. So yeah, is Eloise gonna be joining us? I'd love to uh, I'd love to know. Is Eloise gonna be joining us? Um, I'm, I'm curious, you know, no no worries if she you knows she she may have other you know commitments and such, which is cool. Um, but yeah. That is the secret, and it's gonna be awesome. Um, Sprint to Duke in the way of the chat. Yes, that is just life, you know. I will ask people, cool, cool, all right. Richard Holiday Wrestling, exactly. <laughs> Richard Holiday Author. Okay, so let's type in Richard Holiday Author and see if that, that works. Um, yeah, okay. Richard Holiday author okay uh, mm, okay I still have to go to filter I still have to do the filter go do a filter on channel otherwise you won't come up so there you go first one so that's cool um, there we go. So we are going to be on Gromit's channel, and there may be more people, um, but currently Emma and I are confirmed guests. Um, yeah, I would say change your channel name, because, like, if you type in Richard Holiday and then people find out, like, it's all wrestling stuff, I think that's, yeah, that may be a branding issue. Like Emma says, it may be a branding issue. And I am quite rubbish at search, but I am, I'm also... I, I think I am the average person, right? So if I'm gonna search like the average person and it just comes up as whatever the average person is gonna find, that means that's what the average person is gonna find, <laughs> you know? So yeah, look into that. She seemed friendly. Who seemed friendly? Eloise seemed friendly. I, li I live in a London borough, really? Huh. But you got to take the train in. Like I thought all London boroughs were... Okay, maybe not all, but... I thought most London boroughs had, like, a tube, but you take the train. That's why it was, like, 
Uh, I don't know. Is he, is he actually in London, really? Like, if you take the train, it sounds like you're a bit outside of London, you know, or, or maybe on the outskirts of London, right? Maybe I'm being a bit nitpicky, but, you know, hopefully you know what I mean. Then it says, so do you all want to meet up if I vacation there? Yes! If I am here, Devin, I will be okay to meet up, um, depending on timing and everything, you know? So, why not? Yeah, Eloise was on the last one. It was Eloise. <laughs> and this is a you problem. How is it a me problem? Like, you said you live in London, but then you take a train in. Like, I don't know, man. <laughs> um... Yeah, most Londoners take the tube in. <laughs> this is really a comedy genius. Uh, nothing average about you. <laughs> uh, very little tube coverage. In... Okay, that is that is kind of true. That is kind of true. Tube coverage in South London is a little more catchy. Um, tube map. So if we... Um... I don't know, let's open another one. Let's have a look. Oh, yes, okay. All the essentials, thank you. Um, oh, jeez. Oh, okay, so, like South London, like everything below here, it just seems to be less built up. <laughs> There's a lot of tube networks in, in the middle. There's quite a bit up north, you know? Um, but once you get down south here, it seems to just kind of go patchy. Okay, here is like closer to Heathrow, so you know, fair enough. Um, but I think down south you can see it's a. I don't know, it's still okay. You got the tram system there, right? Like, do you, do you have the tram? Maybe, maybe that's what you got. Like over here. Um, like anything below. Below the Thames, you know, South London, I guess. Um, I used to work over here, actually. I used to work over here at London Bridge, right? Um, back in the day for... Uh... Ooh. Okay, I was here for quite a few years, but before that, I was in... Um... What was the tube station? I was around here. Like around Holwyn, maybe? Um... Tom Court. It was like close to the Farringdon. So yeah, it was close to the Farringdon. So it wasn't like, so around here, so around this area here, um, not quite Russell Square, but you know, yeah. Anyway, that's where I used to work. Just going down memory lane a little bit. Oh, sh <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm still not convinced. If someone takes a train into London, do they still, yeah, are they still really in London? Really? <laughs> I feel like that's a bit of a gray area at best. <laughs> okay, getting our passwords. Cool, cool. That sounds, that's awesome. Um, have you, ha are you guys going like doing a few different places? Or is it just like one place? Because you know what, what a lot of people do, especially from North America, North American um, tourists, they, they don't just go to one location they, they tend to go um i don't know let's say they go to london they're going to go to paris for example they're going to go to um deutschland you know in germany somewhere there's not much to do in frankfurt so i, I wouldn't go to frankfurt myself but i've been to frankfurt there's not a lot going on um they may go to amsterdam like you know um there's the red light districts there's the coffee shops they're more like <laughs> smoking shops or stuff um you know so there's all there's all these things right and maybe they, they you know depending on budget you know they, they may want to go further out wherever you know like scandinavia or spain italy all that kind of thing so yeah where where, uh, where are you guys planning to go like london obviously there's quite a bit to do there's quite a lot to do in england and the uk you know obviously there's a lot of things there's even northern ireland and ireland itself there's stuff to do you know i've never i have been to northern ireland i have been once <laughs> and yeah that was an experience L let's just say the travel experience was an experience that's <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say 
Um, yeah, it is exciting. Yeah, exciting to travel. I think that's cool. And <laughs> oh dear, I kid you not. I actually got a toxic ad from one of those agencies. That's Alara. Trams are in trams are in Croydon. I'm from Croydon, but don't live there now. Ooh, so posh, so posh. Um, laughing at best Laura. Andy thinks to live in London means living in Big Ben. Um, yeah, you know, I used to live across the road from Big Ben. Not, not like permanently, but yeah. <laughs> I literally would wake up to Big Ben, you know, sounding off. So Scandinavia looks like a something on the map. Really? Really? Come on, is that true? Um, I don't think that's true. I don't know, Scandinavia is nice. I, I've been. Um, I think it's, I think it's nice. Before you can, yes, thank you, Google. Um, can you collapse that? I don't know, Gromit. I wouldn't, that's not how I would describe it. No, that's not how I describe it. It's a little rude. Come on, be nice to our Scandinavian cousins. Um, I just want to do a castle tour. The kids want to see all of London. You got to see Tower of London for sure, if that's the case. The Hubs wants to see Doctor Who Museum. I've never been. James Bond, 221 Baker Street. Is that the Sherlock Holmes Museum? 221 Baker Street? Um, yeah, Sherlock Holmes Museum, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never been, but I, I've... I've actually gone past it many times on a bus. Um, I think it's a bus number 82, if I'm right. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm not going to Google that now. <laughs> but yeah, it, it was on a bus route that I used to take. I think it was the 82 or the 13, probably 82, kind of think of it. Um, bus route that passes Sherlock. Holmes Museum. 13. Okay, it was the 13, not the 82. 13 was the one. Yeah, and it literally was like a few feet, a few feet in front. Like you literally get off the bus stop and then walk like five five seconds. <laughs> it was really close. So there we go. Um bus number 13. I used to take that route regularly. Thank you, Richard. What was that for? Was that because of his comments about Scandinavian? No, that's rude. Behave, you two. Behave. It's kind of rude. Um, we're still working. Yeah, cool, cool. Um, I mean, it's a big, like, it's a big trip, right, Devin? You know, you got to kind of, um, you know, think about where you want to go and what you want to do. Don't do not do what I did. Like, I, I arrived in London, and then I was like, jet <laughs> lag for a week <laughs> and yeah okay in, in in fairness you do have to account for jet lag because it's it's quite tough well it's tough maybe because i'm old <laughs> you know um so yeah i i think um i think it's worth planning up especially because you, you probably will be traveling with kids and um you're gonna need stuff to do you know for them as well have you been emma the Sherlock Holmes Museum. I've never been. I, I really wish I, sh I really wish I should have gone. Like, this is one of the problems I have in, in my life. I go to places that are quite like exotic, you know. Um, they're, they're they're major tourist spots, some of them. And I go there, and I don't really travel much. I don't, I don't go out to see stuff, you know. And I kind of regret that. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. I think it's um it's one of those things I, I, I want to do more of. So wherever I whichever area I'm in, I wanna I'm making a point to try and discover more about that place. You know, it's kind of embarrassing that I don't know more about London. Even though I literally took the bus number thirteen in front of the Sherlock Holmes Museum for years. <laughs> it was crazy. Dear life, hey life. Uh, Devin, we have a castle at the end of our road. Yeah, go visit. Go visit Emma. Anyone who wants to like look at castles, like Emma's got a whole bunch. <laughs> go, 
go check check out our castles. <laughs> um, Stonehenge. Yes, I, I don't know. It's, yeah, it's me and travel. And then you got to take the bus there, I think. And you can't get that close to Stonehenge. I think they stopped that because, like, some tourists are being difficult. Um, so they, they, they stopped that. Yeah, I don't know if you can get up to Stonehenge up close and personal, really. Yes, yeah, yeah, no, oh dear, too late now. Why is he doing this indeed exactly? Too late, too late. Um, SD says, try and decide on title for my next podcast episode. Which of these grab your attention? Number one, open the library door with an LCCN. Number two, gaining library prestige with an LCCN. Or number three, library credibility hack for authors. Okay, that last one is too much of a mouthful for me. I probably avoid that. So yeah, I wouldn't do the third one. Um, the first two, open the library door, gaining library prestige. I would do open the library door, but a different version of that. And I would say omit LCCN. So maybe I'm just bouncing ideas, so don't don't take any of this like as it is. Um, maybe like gain library access with this simple hack. Library access with this hack. There you go. That's what I would do. So it's a little click basey, but if you deliver on the promise, you should be okay. Oh my God, guys, Richard, Emma, behave. Oh my God, what is wrong with you two? <laughs> um, Richard, <laughs> Emma, behave. Oh my God. <laughs> you are, you all are amazing personal tour guys. Yes, I am happy to recommend places. But you know, like I say, I, I, I really do wish I had been to more places that I was, you know, visiting in or staying in. Like, I've literally lived on three continents in my life, and I haven't, like, besides the, you know, major tourist attractions and stuff, I haven't really been around much, you know? And it's kind of a big regret of mine, you know? And hopefully before I, uh, before I die, I can do some of that, really. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, God, Emma, Richard, behave. Uh, Shannon, yes, Dan, yeah, oh, folks, like, I don't know how many people are running AWC, but Right here, you've got at least two of the powerhouses of AWC, Devon and SD in the house right now. And AWC is going to happen in June, so make sure you uh, make yourself available, um, which kind of reminds me I need to sort my stuff out. <laughs> I like the first one. Open the library door. Yeah, something like that. You know, something like that. Something like that would be good. Um, first one, yeah. Library access with this hack exactly, exactly that something like that. You can workshop that a little bit, but essentially it's around those words: access library or library access. You know, with this hack, um, that that would work. I think. I think anyway. And make sure it's like about sixty characters because obviously YouTube truncates the um, the title. So if you can, try and have it within 60 characters. Uh, and, and yeah, well, why not and D with a D-I? You know, it doesn't have to be D-I-E at the end. <laughs> um, B there or B square, exactly. B there or B square, exactly. Um, it's where the cool kids are going to be hanging out between Friday and Sunday, June 28th to June 30th. I'm going to be hanging out for sure. Um, so yeah, uh, you just sounded super cool. <laughs> um, conference just ended. Okay, how was how was the conference? Bookmark, bookmarks in con, um, and obviously SD was um, a presenter there as well, which is very very cool. She's moving up, moving places, going to places. Look at that, SD. Woo. Um, bookmark con. So yeah, if if anyone wants to catch the replay or. Um, SD, if you if you got your link, you know your affiliate link, feel free to plug that here, um, by all means. So, 
Oh my god. Okay, I kind of let slip the time a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. I don't even know if we should do a sprint now. Because we've got like 20 minutes. Should we even do a sprint, folks? Um, let me know. Um, we can do like a 10 minute sprint. And then we'll just have 10 minutes to close. Oh, 15 minutes. You know, we could. Um, <laughs> hack into the library. No, I probably wouldn't do that one. <laughs> I think that could go a different way. I think hack into the library will be a bit different. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah. I would do something more like get into the library with this hack, you know. Ben Pick did a 10 mile run today. Nice. Yeah, he, he's he's a runner, isn't he? Um, it was good. Cool, cool, cool. Book Marks and Con. Yeah, feel free to plug your affiliate link, um, SD, if you've, if you've got one. Um, yeah, I, I remember seeing, I think you had one. I think you had one. Um, okay, 10 or 15. I think we should do, you know, my voice is kind of going, to be honest. So let's do a 15 minute sprint. Um, 15 minutes. Yes, let's do a 15 minute sprint. And then we can just regroup for like, I have a meeting in 20. Oh, well, that's okay. You know, Sunday meeting in, wow. That is proper dedication, Devin. That's all I can say. Ben's new book. Okay, there you go. Um, Ben's new book, if anyone would like to go. Give up. No, I, I got to do another sprint. Okay, 15 minutes, guys. We're going to start right now. Let's go. See you in 15.
Okie dokie, and that is time. Um, so we got about four and a bit minutes, maybe, you know? Um, you know? Yeah. Um, how, how did you guys do? Apologies if my uh, voice is kind of going, <laughs> because, well, it is. So, um, yeah, let me just change the banner up a little bit, because we're obviously not sprinting now. We are doing chants and giggles. Probably a bit more chants than giggles, to be honest. Um, um, you know, yeah, my voice is kind of kind of going a little bit. <laughs> Um, I'm putting all the Tube Boys conference up. <clears throat> so 2024 in June. Can't wait for that, actually. It's going to be awesome. Going to be awesome. Um, give other sprints. Yeah, no, grab it. <laughs> we did a final sprint. And hopefully, actually, hopefully you guys did some work, as I did. Like, uh, <laughs> would you like to know how many words I've, I've written today? I've written a grand total of 73 words. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Like, that is not my writing speed. My writing speed, my typing speed is very, very fast. I can type very fast. But my problem is actually writing the, the story. It takes me ages. So this, this is what I've written today. 73 words out of, yeah, it's not, it's not. It takes me ages to get through. That's that's my problem. Um, but it's one of those things. I'll, I'll get better at it. You know, it's just a matter of time. Exactly. I am being good. I am trying to do some work. <laughs> Oh, Devin, cool, cool. I will check Discord after this. Thank you for tagging me. I'm going to check that. Yeah, I do need to work on... Um, yeah, I, I'm trying to write a bit here and there as well. Melissa, thank you for lurking in and out. Thank you for the sprints. No, thank you, you for being here. Actually, thank you, everyone, for being here. We're going to close off in a couple of minutes. Um, SD says, finish all the admin. Ooh, that's a lot of admin for the podcast episode, but need to record now. Find us a schedule or schedule for another author interview for the podcast. Nice. Well done. And sent out an interview invite to another author for the podcast. Nice. I'd love to do more if I can. I don't know if I can. Um, but I'd love to do more with you, Esty. That's that's awesome. Our podcast stuff at the moment. Yeah. No, I think it's really cool, actually, the podcast. I've been on a couple of episodes. Um, I'm always hesitant because, you know, Faceless Channel and all that. You know, maybe, maybe I'm being paranoid. I don't, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm always like, uh, I would like to, but I don't know if she wants me there. And anyway, this is all season five starting in July. Nice, well done, exactly, well done. Thank you. Um, time for meeting. Yes, thank you, Devin, for being here. Hope you have a great Sunday, and hopefully the meeting goes very well as well. Obviously, you know. Um, Emma says, Lesai, I guess it's going to be a late rising night for some. <laughs> Yes, I um, um, you know, yeah. So yeah, I, I hope um I can get some words in. Let's see. Yep. Bye. Um. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I believe I am. Yes. Cool. Okay, we got like one minute. One minute. Um. Um, we might as well close off now, actually. So thank you, everyone, for being here. Um, really appreciate you spending time. Um, we have that on the schedule sometime, May. Yep. Nice, nice. Excellent. That's going to be awesome. Uh, thank you, SD. Thank you. Emma, thank you, Gromit, and everyone else for being here. Best of Laura, Devin, um, <clears throat> Melissa for lurking, and everyone. <clears throat> oh, my voice is going. Um, let's end the stream there before I lose my voice completely. Have a great evening. I shall see everyone next week. Take care. Bye.